Ah, I keep on getting told to do more Fortnite news, which I do enjoy. You guys have tons of drama, tons of storylines, tons of great personalities out there. Most of them are great, I should say, and a lot of you viewers are great as well. And if you guys want more Fortnite stories, my DMs are always open for this kind of stuff. You know, last week we actually talked about, even over the last couple of days, we talked for the Fortnite Streamer Bowl. Congratulations, by the way, to Clix, the man himself, alongside Tifu, both placing top two with their partners in that Streamer Bowl. We also talked about Nick A30 placing pretty high as well in the Fortnite streamer bowl so that, that was some interesting stuff out there and again like I said before a lot of you Fortnite viewers are super fun super friendly some of you aren't though especially those who try and judge a controller player by the way the latest news out there that's going to be a teenager known as Brezzo becomes the first ever Fortnite player to win a championship on LAN via controller. Yes, and people are now taking it out on the guy, or the kid I should say, because he's on controller. I would say as well, it's the Australian Open event. For all of you guys who are curious, he takes home six figures at $100,000 and does so dominantly through this competition. Other notable names out there in the top 10, we got our boy Zexro. I hope you're laying off the monsters, by the way, my man. On top of that, top 20, we also got people like Benji, who now feel very confident heading into future events throughout 2020. Now, despite all this, we have other pro players who either were or were not there who are a bit angry, and especially when it comes time for the height of this argument. Over the past year, we have seen many a pro players out there, and always we will complain about mouse and keyboard versus controller. I had a dedicated video on this where I actually referenced many a pro players, many streamers, many content creators and their side of the debate and especially over the last couple of months we have seen this argument all the more heightened as even your top players out there Booga and Tifu are taking to play on controller just to show how overpowered it is so all of this is, comes at the worst time for now a young man out there in Brezzo to win the Australian Open via controller and he's getting hate for it which is incredible because it's actually the first time to ever happen on land in Fortnite history and it should be a gigantic celebration yet there's still tons of haters. And I try my best to understand the hate, right? Obviously, a lot of these players are super young. You got no other, they're, they're young, okay? Whenever you're young and a teenager, you're gonna say stupid stuff. And I, and albeit, it wasn't that offensive, right? They're not kind of a guy who plays controller because they can. It's not like they're saying, F you, I'm gonna kill you, I'm gonna find you. It could be way worse. If I was 16, 17, or even younger, I'd probably be saying the same thing if I was a mouse and keyboard kid who just got beat by a controller player by the way, Brezzo, congratulations. A huge feat, by the way, and a first in Fortnite. Yes, we maybe saw a, a lack of results when it comes time, especially for land finishes throughout 2019, but certainly throughout FNCS, the Fortnite Champion Series, guys, we have seen the growing results of controller players, and no one is denying that. I will say, based off all of this going forward, I am very curious what's going to happen for future Fortnite land events and who will be taking those titles. Because throughout 2018, throughout 2019, controller players albeit they looked all the more impressive at a few moments here and there, they did not really produce that many stellar results, especially when it comes time for actually winning, certainly none. And so I'm super curious, 2020 and going forward, if we will see the rise of the controller player, especially when it comes to Fortnite LAN events, and then if that does come true, if we have Fortnite World Cup 2 come around and all of a sudden controller players are dominating then, and I don't think it's going to happen too drastically or, you know, obviously too much of an increasing rate. We will have to wait and see what happens. Besides all that, I understand both sides, right? Teenagers versus teenagers. You're going to say things as long as they're within a certain boundary. I'm not going to complain too much. I love the drive and the competitive nature of these rising youngsters out there, whether controller or whether mouse and keyboard. 2020 competition will continue. We will see if controller is super overpowered and especially when it comes time for the next World Cup, which should be an announced sometime here right before summer we will wait and see exactly who is best and if anything does happen to change the game as well for controller players or mouse and keyboard either way congratulations to brezzo being the first ever fortnite pro player to actually win a land championship via controller until next time take care of yourselves remember my dms are always open for stories okay all right see you guys next time